What do brushing your teeth and forgiveness both have in common? That if you don't do it daily, you'll have a bitter taste in your mouth. Oh, before I even do anything, I want to show you guys something. Check it out. Yeah, you see? Yeah. I'm a grandfather. Check out the pics. Oh, oh man. It's only two months old. Little boy, first time. My little grandson right now. I'm happy, man. Looking forward in a few months to go see him. But... Good day to you and how you be everybody. Yana goes to here, welcome to Tainoi. Today we got some work I gotta do, but I'm gonna show you the job I did about a month ago. We're gonna talk about the using the CNYK, not to put all the colors together, using them separately. Could you use them if you have a design that's got nothing to do with all the colors together? Yes, you could, and that's what we're gonna do. It has a little half tone, that's why I like that ink. We're gonna talk about that and talk about a little thing why I took about two months off going through my things in my head so let's do this oh man oh there you just got a beauty right here hey how are you look at you look at you let's see what it is It's special. Nice. Ooh, a t-shirt. Good, good. What else is in here? Oh. All right. Just got this gift from Ryanette. Good looking, man. They sent me some t-shirts, some little stickers, and this ink right here. This is Perlescence from FN Ink, and I have heard about it. It's supposed to give you a nice little effect, like when the light hits your the color, no matter what color it is, going to be like some white colors coming in. It'll give you a good picture like with marble look that marble style thing something I'll be reading up on it but it's pretty pretty cool and good looking right in it but now I want to talk about could you use CMYK ink to do like something like just spot colors or one color half tone yes you could yes you could it don't have to be only a CMYK print where it's going to be multiple colors ink on top of each other no you could use them separately and that's what we're going to do right now so let me show you the whole setup all right, so this job I have to do is someone that wanted uh, an image for color print, but he wanted to use the C and Y K colors. And it's separate, it doesn't go together. So it's all half tones and it looks pretty, pretty nice, man. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to Photoshop and I'm gonna show you how to do half tones very quick. Then we're gonna take it, expose them, wash them up, set them up, and you're gonna see how these colors, they look so beautiful on a white t-shirt. When you really see them, you're not even gonna feel the ink because that ink is so soft. It's very, very close to water-based ink. So that's what we're gonna do. Now let's go to Photoshop. Now, before we jump into Photoshop, I obviously want to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Printable. If you're having issues with managing orders or deadlines, then I highly recommend Printable. Printable is a simple management software. Printable will help you manage orders, handle scheduling, automation, and online stores. Regardless if you're a small or big print shop, Printable will help you streamline your business. Right now, if you go to printable.com and use the promo code TAINO, you're gonna get 50% off the first month. And the good thing is that once you go into printable.com, there are three packages that you could um, choose, which is best for you. Your small print shop, you know what you're gonna use, your big print shop, there's a package for you. So I want to thank Printavo for sponsoring today's video. Now back to Photoshop. So this is the image right here. CMYK colors, four different colors, nice design. Say Silk Screen Society, and at the bottom you got the CMYK. So what we're gonna do is separate all four, get them individually, and we're just gonna focus on one first, and that's the one we're gonna separate. Once you separate that one, you will see, you will do the rest with all the other three left. So what you're gonna do is, all right, go to image, 
mode, grayscale, then merge, discard. Now you got your image all nice and gray. Now you're gonna go back to image, mode, and we're gonna bitmap. And you're gonna flatten layers, okay? Now you want an output of 300, and the method we're using is halftone screens. You're gonna press okay, and this is what it is. The frequency is 45, the angle is 22.5. This is the frequency and angle I use for just a one color picture. You want that black and white photo, get everything halftone, that's what we're gonna use. And right after you do that, look how it looks. Real nice, you see that? All the little half tones, and if you have a rip software, all those half tones, those are little dots, I mean, they're gonna be much sharper. And you're gonna use this for the rest of the other three colors, that same frequency and angle, and I'm gonna show you, look at the films. All nice printed, real nice. So what I did, I took exposing on a 230 mesh. That's what we're using, a 230 mesh. Exposed them, washed them off, and look at the screens. All ready and prep. Gonna place them right now on the press, and wow, let's get printing. All right, check it out. Look how nice it looks. The half tones, the colors, the soft hand feel is like water base. Oh, you don't even feel the ink at all, man. And that's just another idea that you could use the CNYK colors. It don't only have to be to create other colors on top of each other. You know, no, you could just do it spot colors, single colors, and it will give you a nice feel, especially if you're doing any half tones. Perfect, man. So right now, let's talk about why did I took two months off. Okay, I started this channel about four years ago. I think September be how I'll turn five, and I want to quit. And really, no, I'm not. I'm not quitting. Those two months that I went through, I was feeling like that because uh, for some reason I had just believed that by this time my channel should already have viral videos should, should have thousands of subscribers and in reality i have no business thinking that because i i just started doing videos i'm learning how to edit i'm learning how to do photography it has nothing to do i cannot put it i have to go back and say when i started screen printing that nothing was happening you know, it took five years where it was so slow, so slow, like nothing was happening. Then boom, it just blew up. And maybe this it will happen to this channel, maybe not, you know? But at the end, all I wanna say is that those little thoughts sometimes come in your mind and you have to try to take them out, man, because it took me two months to get back here. But the best part of it was that even those two months I was not posting, I have people DMing me, commenting, calling me, and saying how much my videos have helped, oh, and motivating. And then it took me back to the reason I started doing videos to motivate people. So to t show them something that I'm doing that they might do it and they're gonna do it better. It's, it's a whole complete thing. So a month ago I started going on focusing on Instagram, doing these little 15, 20 second videos on reels, hitting the stories, hitting Instagram because I looked, I only had 4,000 followers. And in a month doing that, I grew to 20,000 followers. I had a viral video that was right at 2 million views. Unbelievable. And that just kept motivating me. And I go, John, just do what you like, man. You, you love printing, you love doing videos, you're learning. And when you're going through something like that, no, man, that thought is gonna be like quick because we have expectations. We should be there right now. Really? No, man. We're learning a skill. Now I know how to edit. I know how to use a camera. I know about the ISO, the, you know, all the F, all that stuff. The shutter speed, all that stuff, the editing. 
I, I'm learning so many things with when it comes to editing is progress with time I'm gonna get better maybe in a year from now it will blow up maybe in five years maybe not maybe it will just stay like that but sometimes it'll go up and stay like that but you know what I'm happy with it man and I'm glad that I'm back talking to all of y'all because y'all the ones in those two months that inspired inspired me you guys kept calling, DMing me how much I motivate, asking questions about screen printing. Oh man, that just put some fire in me and yeah, let me go back. So if you guys feeling like that, man, come on, don't stop, man, okay? Just keep going, keep doing what you like. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God take you on the ride. Peace out.